tako. Ili možemo da promenimo majicu i ja ću u ovom. Opa, ovo je kako. Aha, da, to, 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 to. Ok. Gotovi? Thank you, Jesus. We are here. And we have your word. You know, sometimes we say the word of God. You know, that's what God has said. He cannot lie. And this is his truth. So we are just praying that you lead us. You give us understanding from above. Not the wisdom from below. But from the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we are in 1 Corinthians 14 slash 15. And uh, we were teaching uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 13, 14 about the tongues. And uh, we were teaching about the meaning, what does it mean, the tongues in the Bible. We spoke about how to use them. About the translating of tongues. That's what we are doing right now, actually. That's a beautiful example of it. And then verse 40. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Decently and in order. Oh, hello. So, uh, this is beautiful verse. Because we spoke about this uh, idea that people get a vision from God. You know, they got the word from God. You know, they got, they are taken over by the Spirit. You know, and suddenly they have to like manifest it. You know, and they start to speak. And they don't keep the order. They don't, they don't wait till the first finishes and then they speak. You know, all communication has to be clear as a sound trumpet. If somebody speaks in different tongue, there has to be translation that it would be understood. From, from English into Serbian. You know, he says that the prophet has this spirit under control. First Corinthians 14.32 So, if we want to say something, you know, you know, we can wait and then, you know, we can say, hello, may I say something, you know. And he brings it to this point, verse 40, that everything should be done decently and in order. And uh, uh, there are Greek words. You know, we spoke about this. About Greek and Hebrew language. And this word for decently uh, in, in Greek is euschemonos. 
Eus hemonos. Eu means good. Eu znači dobro. And schemo is a scheme. It's a, it's a basically Schem. some form. Form. Shape, form. Schema je ta šema, forma već imamo. So we could say well formed. Možemo reći, sada spojiti sve to zajedno, dobro uh, formirano. Yeah. Dobro formirano, dobro upakovano. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, when we apply it to our normal life, kada to sad primjenimo na naš život, you know, things should be done decently. Uh, stvari koje radimo treba da, da se rade tako pošteno, to jest you know, dobro. It should have a well, fo- well formed behavior. Treba da bude dobro formirano to naše ponašanje. You know, uh, when something is not working, kad nešto ne funkcioniše, and you get angry, i vi se naljutite, you don't say, mm, the Serbian word, you know. I ne kažete srpsku reč. You know, you, you say, God help me. I <laughs> kažete, Bože pomozi. You know, uh, uh, when you meet your neighbor, you know, it's kind of good form to say hello, komšija. Dobra stvar je da se kaže pozdrav. No, how are you? You know, it's it's normal to have a good form. To je normalno da imamo tu dobru formu. So this is what he speaks about. I o tome priča Pavel. And then, uh, in order, that's the other word. Uredno. And it speaks about military order. Govori se o... You know, about the hierarchy. You know, you have a general, you have somebody underneath and so on. And uh, uh, the behavior should should understand its place. You know, we should know where is my place. Mi treba da znamo gdje je naše mjesto. You know, when, when we go from the church, you know, we go into car. Uh, kad izađemo iz crkve, idemo u kola. You know, my place is not in the engine, you know. <laughs> moje, moje mjesto nije u motoru. You know, David's place is not behind the wheel. Uh, not mjesto, yet. Davidovo mjesto nije da iza volana. Da on you know, everybody je. has his place. Svako ima svoje mjesto. And this is very important. To je veoma važno. You know, to know our place. Uh, Basically, to know our role. And uh, uh, for us, this is kind of clear. But imagine that the world doesn't know it. You know, we can, we can apply this uh, just to identity. You know, people don't know their role today. You know, they don't know the role of a male and female, the husband and wife. You know, everything is twisted. You know, it's like if somebody would open your head and just turn your brain around and put it back, you know. You know, it's like, uh, for us it's clear. Za nas je to jasno. But here it says it should have the right form and the right place. Because if we have the right form, Ako imamo dobru formu, out of the place, not in a place, not in a good place. A, ako nemamo dobru formu, ako nismo na no, we have the good form, mi imamo dobru formu, but we don't have the good place. A nemamo dobru mjesto. Saying, for example, David is trying to drive my car. You know, I told him, get into car. But he gets the wrong place. You know, or wrong timing. You know, I want to say something. But I am interrupting the preacher. Uh, you know, then uh, you maybe you have a good idea. Možda imate dobru ideju. You know, very good form. Veoma dobru formu. You know, we love your idea. I volimo to And we will even apply it to our church. I uh, verovatno ćemo i primeniti u crkvi. But, you know, the place. Ali, mes... not, not now. Ne sada. Wait one minute till we finish. Pričekaj jedan minut da završite. You know, so this is very important. I to je veoma važno. This is what he speaks, that even good things... Uh, if you 
if you uh, practice them in the wrong timing, then you know it's wrong. Pavel to kaže čak i dobre stvari ako loše u loš timing, loše vreme to praktikujemo onda nije dobro. So uh, this could be applied uh, directly to these uh, tongues and order in the church. I ovo se direktno može primeniti na na jezike i na taj uh, red u crkvi. You know, uh, we have a I don't know, I don't have example now for order in the church, but there is certain order. Ne, sada uh, neki primer, ali postoji red u crkvi. Uh, simple, we have a worship. Evo jednostavno imamo slavljenje. And then we have a message. I zato imamo poruku. Now imagine we have a message and the worship team starts to sing during preaching. And then somebody's wife will have a sincere question and she will start to ask during the message while everybody else is singing. Yeah, it's, it's a total chaos. You know? Uh, so, if it's in the right order, when everybody knows his place, it's beautiful. You know, they lead us into worship. Then we hear the word of God. Then we have a time for questions. You know, during that time, somebody is offering a cake and coffee and... It's beautiful. Because it's the right order. Now, we spoke on Sunday, the previous Sunday, from Matthew chapter 6. Verse 33. says, seek first. You know, the kingdom of God. That also speaks about order. Is it God first? Or is it God, God last? You know, God first or God last? Ah, you know what God, yeah, yeah, you know, it's uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the last day, Sunday in the week, and I'll give you, I'll give you a few minutes. You know, in, in English uh, countries, the Sunday is the first day. It's amazing, you know, God first. That's how we start our week. You know, and with many things. You know, uh, uh, the, the biblical excuses, let me first. And then I will follow. God, I have to finish this first and then I will follow. You know, I have to see this movie first. And then I will read my Bible. You know, you know the, the movie is three hours long, you know, and at the end of the movie, like, you, you will not read your Bible. You are just like, dumb. I, you know, I'm just saying, you know, you, you know these things from your life, right? And you are like, how can he know? <laughs> Did he look through the window, you know? <laughs> no, I'm speaking from our own life, you know? <laughs> we, we are not different, you know? We, we have the same, you know? <laughs> you know, Marco can agree with me, right? <laughs> no, no, he... Yeah. So, God first. <laughs> and uh, think about it this way. We mentioned that the first Corinthians, you know, is amazing teaching on how to worship God. You know, uh, in, uh, in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter uh, two, it speaks uh, about difference between flesh and the spirit. Yeah, and we cannot worship God in the flesh. 
You know, he says to Corinthian church, you have to be spiritual. You know, a good example of uh, uh, worship in the flesh could be really like unsaved man. Imagine you have a group of Christians and there is one who is not born again. You know, and the music starts to play and they get, they get excited like, oh, let's worship God. And you know, they, they really uh, uh, love the words speaking about character of God. Yeah, and the unbeliever is just like, what are they doing? You know? So they, they stand up so he stands up, you know, and they are singing, you know, holy, holy, holy. So, so he's also singing holy, holy, holy. He is worshipping in flesh. There is no connection. You know, that's, Paul says, how can you worship God in flesh? You know, and apply to Christians we should live in the spirit, not in the flesh. You know, the old man, the, the first Adam in us, you know, the old Adam, cannot worship God. Because he wants to find some, you know, his way. He wants to preserve his life. You know, the, the old man says, well, I, I, I cannot do tithing because I would not have enough for my bread. But the spiritual man says, and it's also Matthew 6, you know, give us our daily bread. Yeah, oh, God will give me bread. God will give me finances for the bread. And also for, for this. You know? uh, tithing is another thing that should be done decently and in order. You know, sometimes at the end of the month you go like what's left. Okay. Okay. These twenty dinars I still need, and and this, you know, this this can go. Uh, yeah. Uh, tithing. The setak. You hear it. The setak. Tithing. There is this word. Ten. Deset. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it means. It doesn't mean you should give one tenth. It means you should give ten times more. No, no, no. no. It means one tenth. You know, very clear teaching. You know, you worship God. And you know, at the end of the month. Uh, that's not enough. Maybe even I could give this little jeton, you know. You know. And then I have a car wash jeton also, you know. <laughs> Maybe you know the pastor will use it, you know. <laughs> you know, like or is it God first? You know? you know, and and if it if it's God first that's amazing because first Corinthians chapter three speaks how to worship God and there is comparison of worldly wisdom and faith. You know, the worldly wisdom. You know, you know, it's, you know what's worldly wisdom? To have a good accounting lady and you, and you don't have to pay taxes. You know, that's the worldly wisdom. And you know the faith is what belongs to God belongs to God. 
Šta pripada Bogu, pripada Bogu. Ooh. So when I worship God, I can either stand and in the flesh and in worldly wisdom and I can say, God, I cannot pay tithes because, you know, I don't have enough. And you understand. Or I can stand in God's wisdom from above and worship God by faith. Oh, one tenth. I believe you. I'll, I'll, I'll test you, God. And we will see if I die or not. If I will have a bread or not. And if I die, you are responsible. Because I obeyed the scripture. You know, try it. I tried God once. And you know what, you know what happened? I did not die. Ah, ah, so the next month I had to do it again. <laughs> and again I did not die. And I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> and I would rather die. <laughs> But God keeps me alive, you know, and I'm like... So, faith. You know, that's 1 Corinthians 3. But, but no, not just pertaining to finances, you know. No, even like uh, the step of faith. You know, the worldly wisdom is you are tired. You've been working a lot. Stay home. Read uh, novosti. Politiku. You know, je li čitate politiku? You know. Uh, that's my friend's favorite newspapers. Uh, and, and stay home and relax. Because tomorrow you are working again. That's a worldly wisdom. But faith is... You know what? I'm coming. You know, I, I know these people. I want to see my brother's face. I want to talk to them. I want to listen in the Bible school some good teaching. I'm coming. I'm coming. I go by faith. Because, you know, it brings reward. You know, maybe not today, but years down the road, it will bring reward.